Good morning, everybody. It is April. I know it's almost 9 o'clock in the morning, but I was pretty busy this morning. I took care of all the first crop for us already, off camera, just to save some time. Dump some poopy on them so the grass grows so we get a nice good yield on our second crop. I also fed the cows this morning. Everybody is happy, healthy. Took the eggs in this morning. Everything is topped off. Won't be long. We're going to have some more mumu cows here. A <laughs> couple more months. Days re re producing. Let's see. I suppose I better take care of this other issue. You know, some people, they just like, where's the puppy? Where's the puppy? Gotta have the puppy. So, I'll get a puppy. Uh, what is that? Oh, here we go. I downloaded some cheaper dog houses. <laughs> and believe it or not, the cheapest one, we have a Case IH dog house. <laughs> it was kind of a toss-up between this one and this little one here. That's kind of a cute little dog house. But this one is cheaper. <laughs> kind of modern looking though. But it's cheaper and it's got Case IH on it. Alright, we get the Case IH one. Where is a good spot to put the puppy house here? Um, I don't know, I suppose anywhere in here would be a good spot for it. Let's see, can we get it lined up with the world here? That look like a good spot for puppy house. Sure. <laughs> What's this one's name? What? <laughs> Urko? The heck is an Urko? All right, we're not naming you Urko. You're gonna be Fred. Fred two. Fred two. Can can you change the name of your dog? Is there? Oh, hello. Um, <laughs> don't want to cut his head off. Um, is there a way to change the name of your dog? I know we can fill the bowl. I was just wondering, even if you gotta get into the XML files, there's gotta be a way to change the name or dog. Put that down in the comments. And if anybody knows how to edit the name of the dog, it'd be much appreciated. That way we can call him Fred. You know. So, all right, we got another Freddy. Okay. Um, took care of the hay already. I don't think there's much I can do. I kind of took care of everything this morning. Barley will be ready in a couple months. Okay. I think, I think, I think. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can do at the moment. Let me double check some things here quick. That's what I was looking for. I found a, a cheaper and more clunky... I think it matches this old house, a uh, better outhouse. <laughs> uh, so I switched them out quick. It's part of a like a small package. Uh, this is one I found watching uh, Jeremy Wilson's videos. I was like, where did he get them little outhouses and all that little stuff? I did a little search and I found all this stuff. Uh, yeah, they call it a small package items pack or something. It just looked like a more fitting poopy house. The other one was a little too fancy looking. Alright, we got puppy. We got... I suppose I can close the door to the house. Is there anything else that needs doing here? Oh, I did find something else cool. I was tempted to use it, but not at the moment. What was that under? I found... I'm guessing it's under production. I just thought it was kind of funny. I was tempted to use it too. There it is. This is an outhouse. I was tempted to use it. But maybe in another game. This is an outhouse that you put up. But you can add water or straw or wood chips and get manure or slurry out of it. I thought that was a pretty cool idea. Um, maybe I should have put it down and used it. I don't know. <laughs> But I'm getting plenty of manure from my cows. But if I ever did another map where I'm not getting enough manure, 
I think that's the way to go. You know, if you get a little extra straw, wood chips, it look it'd be a good way to be a good way to make some manure. I just thought that was a cool little another little mod I found. I just happened to come across it when I was looking for different outhouses. So, all right. Um, all right. I guess I think I can just go ahead and advance until we can uh, harvest some barley. So, yeah. Oh, I suppose I better do this at least once. Otherwise, I'll get yelled at. Are you paying attention? Yoo-hoo! Oh, it, uh... Hmm. It, uh, disappeared into the great unknown. Alright, well, whatever. <laughs> uh, that's just odd. Well, I'm trying to grab it, but it won't let me grab it. There we go. Go fetch. <laughs> That's weird. It like disappears and then reappears. That one's a little glitched out for some reason. Oh well, whatever. Alright, alright. All right. Ugh, rainy. It's supposed to be April showers. Bring May flowers, not May rain. It's miserable. <laughs> I just realized I forgot to show. Uh, yeah, this is all the hay we made uh, in April. So, yeah, I'm hoping that this will fill up nice with hay bales. I got more room over here. Oh, and don't forget straw bales. So, yeah, hopefully we get this filled up nice and full for winter. All right, how we doing here? Oh yes, very nice. Cows are looking good. I know the chickens are hungry. They're always hungry. Hopefully this is enough to last until tomorrow. I really don't want to buy any more feed. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, we'll make it till tomorrow. That boy, that that couldn't have gotten any more perfect. Okay, good, good, good chickens are fed. Oh, we should probably take the eggs in town. I'll do that next. Hmm. I wonder how long it'll be before I get sick of doing this. <laughs> oh, another thing I should add that I did off camera um, because it was becoming an issue is um, this grass kept getting higher and higher and higher and I had less room for hay. And I think the problem was um, I had what they call a, a grazing mod where your cows could graze on grass, uh, which works fine if you're raising like beef cattle and stuff, but not good for cows. Cows, the health drops so fast when they switch to grass. Um, so I went into my save game XML file, uh, folder and went under, I think it was under placeables or something. I, I don't know, I just Googled it and looked it up. And deleted all the grass that was in the, the manger so it could hold more hay. And then I uninstalled that uh, grazing mod. So we shouldn't have that issue anymore. Which is odd, I never had an issue with it before. I don't know, it must depend on the map. Or maybe it's because uh, this, this is the first time I used the expandable pastures mod. Maybe that's what it works with. I don't know. Either way, it was a little conflict that I had to fix, modify with, uh, uh, what is it, Notepad Plus or whatever. You, All this stuff, you can Google it. I don't, I'm not smart enough to word it correctly. Google it, follow the instructions, and it fixed my issue anyway. God, what a rainy, miserable day. Ugh. All right, got that taken care of. Definitely got enough straw, I think, to get by. Okay, chickens. Eight. Why does it keep... I keep forgetting it takes a while for it to uh, reconfigure itself. Yeah, I know I took the eggs in this morning. 
Yeah, eggs are in, chickens are fed, cows are happy. We should be getting some baby cows next month. All right, I'm getting sick of this rain. Let's advance the advance ahead another month here. Hmm. I think we're doing pretty good here. How are we doing? It seemed like the milk production went down a bit though here. Seems like I was making more money than that. Oh, I'm losing a little money. Yeah, I was doing really well. Why did the milk production jump? It seems like it did that on my other game. Yeah, milk production always comes way down in the middle of summer. They're just about ready to have babies though, so that's... yeah. Oh, we just had some babies. Okay, so the next milk check I should do really well. Okay, yeah, they were they were drying up, that's why. Okay, yep, and we got another couple cows here ready to pop. So, okay, okay. We're doing all right, we're doing all right. Let's see, um, chickens, did they survive? Yep. All right, and is this ready to harvest? Yes, it is, and we should get a good yield off it. Unfortunately, we get to harvest all that with this Jeremy's favorite harvester. <laughs> I don't know, it might not be so bad. Um, the harvester he was talking about getting, I don't think I can get it until 1959. So, and that one's way too expensive. So, yeah, I'm kind of stuck with that one for a little while. Unless I do use that one. But I'm, I'm going to try not to. <laughs> that one just does corn. So, hmm. Yeah, I think we're stuck using that one for a little while. We'll see how much it annoys me and aggravates me. Alright, let me run the eggs to town and then I'll get all set up for harvesting here. Oh, I should probably get a different trailer because that trailer, that trailer did not work so well. The axles are too far back and it makes my little poor little bee do pop wheelies. So I'm going to uh, see what what's available for different kinds of trailers. So let me run my eggs to town. See if there's some better options for trailers and see if we can get some harvesting done here. Hmm. Well, I guess that will have to do for now. I really can't afford the upgraded one just yet. I'm a little shy. I suppose I could cut a tree or something quick. I can always a upgrade later at the at my garage, so I'll just get just this for now. We'll see how it goes. But I think I'm going to need the more capacity. So, yeah, we'll just get the cheaper one for now because that's all I can afford. So, alright, at least it's something. Well, that trailer looks awfully, awfully small. And that field looks awfully, awfully big. I am not sure what I am going to do yet. I guess I'm just going to fill things up, see how much actual weed I get. Obviously, i got to put some in the chicken coop. Um, but I think I'm going to have to do something about storage. problem is there's really no good cheap silo for storage that I have. Not super cheap anyway. Not for storing grain. I think the cheapest I got for actual grain storage is, and that just feels cheaty, is this one. This will hold like 5,000 liters, but I don't want to put that. That just doesn't feel right. Um, I suppose I could just dump it on the ground, but that requires shoveling it back up again. I'm not quite sure how I want to proceed from here. I know I'm going to need some kind of storage. Hmm. I might have to do some mod looking just to see what's available. Well, let me let me start harvesting here and uh, lower. And just see how much of a yield I get off of it, and we'll go from there. I didn't plan this very good. <laughs> I'm getting more and more used used to this. This ain't too bad. 
I mean, yeah, it's narrow, it's slow, but it does get the job done. <laughs> Just takes a little while, that's all. And it's going to take a while, so I'll be back with you when I get it done. As long as I'm done at this end of the field, I'm as a feed the chickens right away. I think I can dump it right straight into the their uh, thing here. Oh yeah. All right, chicken coop is full. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a pretty darn good yield off of this. I think I might have to take a quick pause from this game and see what I can find for cheap small grain storage Ooh, I just barely left enough room there Whew. all right I think I got a game plan here I snuck over along the edge of the river there and I cut one more good spruce tree. I'm thinking one tree will do it. Uh, I also sold that little trailer I bought for 2500 I I even got all my money back. You know how you lose a little bit of money. Um, I figured I hardly used it. I filled it once. That, that wasn't fair. So I made sure I got a full refund for that trailer. And I thought, you know what, for just a few bucks more... We go with this trailer and we get the little side doors on it and the cover. That's cool, we can make it any color we want, which will match my tractors. It's just under four thousand dollars and I'm just a hair short. I think that'll hold eleven thousand I, I think that'll hold you know, even if it doesn't hold it, I'll just sell a little bit, but that should be more than enough to take care of the chickens over the winter. So, that's my plan. I already got the wood in the truck. Let's go see if these few logs will give us just a few dollars more. Just enough just to buy that trailer. I think that's the trailer I want. Because I really can't afford a silo right now. I just don't have enough. You know, I just need something to store a little bit of food for the chickens. That's it. So, we'll see if this works. Will it be enough? <laughs> More than enough. All right, let's buy it. Okay, I should have did that in the first place. Okay, I believe it was this one. We want the general green doors. Yeah, I like how it's got them little green doors on the side. I think that's going to work very nice. And we want a cover. I'm not real fun of the killer. Let's see if we can make it a nice. I look like it matches IH. Or is it too much of a bright red? What's this one? No, that's even worse. Let's. That looks more like International Harvester Red. And I think we can leave the the frame gray. That should be all right. What's rod color? I forgot what color I used. Is it that one? Eh, whatever. <laughs> We don't need a license plate. There, I think that's exactly what we want. I think we're all good. Oh, it costs, oh, it costs money to change the color. That's okay, we got the money for it anyway. That looks like a nice chicken food storage trailer. Is there any other options I want? No, I think that's going to do it. Money is gone again. And I'm wasting gas. Alright, I think I got a solution for the barley. Hopefully that'll hold most all of it. It's got a nice cover on it so it'll keep the, the snow and rain off the wheat. Okay, how does the cover work? Oh, Z. 
Yeah, I like that. There, type. It's, it's tarped. It's, it's, yeah, perfect. I think, I think, I think, think that's going to work just good. Whoa, wee. <laughs> All right. We have a solution. Oops, I forgot one more thing. I need this to pick up the grain I dumped <laughs> from the old trailer. It's not that much. I think I can do it in a couple shovelfuls. And this shovel is cheap. This is pretty handy for picking stuff up off the ground if you need to. So i got to have that. Oh, hold on here. Can we change the color? Yes, we can. Hmm. Well, let's go with... I like that. Yeah, we'll make it a red shovel. Okay. Alright, first task at hand. Pick up the mess I left here. Oh. Give me shovel, please. Shovel. Hello. Give me. There we go. Really? Give me shovel. Okay. Should we, should we just, uh... This is a little awkward to use, but it does work. There we go. Can I reach that height? I hope it's going in there. <laughs> I guess if it ain't, it'll be on the ground again. Yep, I think it went in there. Got it. We'll keep that shovel around. It, it's like I say, it's handy for picking up things. We'll just kind of sticky it. Right. Uh, we'll lean up against the wall. Hmm. Well, how about we go like this? Oh, don't stick it in the wall. There. Just so I can find it when I need it. Okay. Um... Maybe that won't be enough either. I already got a thousand eighteen hundred. Come on, truck. All right, let's see if we can. Where did I leave off anyway? Where am I at? Oh, way over there. Like I said, I don't think I need much more than 10,000 liters a year so if I got more than that I can sell it I just want to be able to you know hold on to at least 10,000 liters that should be enough to feed my chickens uh-oh Houston now we have another problem <laughs> Jeez, this one I think I got it figured out I I wonder if it'll unload in there That feels kind of cheaty and wrong, though, if it does. Ah, just when I think I figured things out. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that's going to unload in there. And even if it does, it's, it doesn't seem fair. Yeah, it's not unloading. <laughs> now what do I do? I don't know what to do. I'm out of options. What do? Well, no, 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 no. I got Mr. Shovel. <laughs> I dump it on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll do that. Um. Let's see. Can I unload here? Control I. Action cannot be performed here. Well, can we perform it somewhere? Um, all right. Let let me get this truck out of the way. Ugh, talk about making stuff up as you go. This is this is getting hilarious. <laughs> But it's kind of fun. It's like a, a real super duper challenge here. 
Alright. Where can I unload this? I should be able to unload it somewhere. Okay, well, we don't want to... Oh, yeah, i got to be careful. I don't want to accidentally pick, be picking up straw, too. Alright, let's... So what we got to do, we got to pick a point where... Alright, th this, this, this could work. Alright, this looks like a good... Okay. Okay, it's a little silly. But hey, we gotta do what we gotta do, man. <laughs> Alright. Let's... Good thing I bought that shovel. I wanted a challenge. I guess I gave myself a challenge. <laughs> oh, I missed a spot there. Alright, let's get you somewhere like over here, like this. Oh, what a silly way to play a game, I'll tell ya. Uh, it'll, it'll get better. We just gotta make some more money, man. We just ain't got enough money to buy the stuff we need. At least I got I got an 800 liter shovel, so I only got to do this like twice. A little silly, but it works. Do a little manual labor. <laughs> okay. At least I figured something out. So, we just made our job even harder and longer. Yay! <laughs> uh, yeah. No, it almost fit. Mm. Oh, all right. It can stay in the shovel, I guess. I didn't have quite enough room, and I'm like, oh, I'm so close. But I did find another cheap solution. Can that just sit on top of here? Perfect. All right, we figured it out. Um, I found these little uh, lizard fillable pallets that hold 2,000 liters, so I, s I figured it was more than fair. I can lift it in here empty. And I set it in here, and I only had a little bit left, and I just kind of shovel by shovel full, I brought it in here. So there's about 2,000 liters in here, and the other 11,000 is already filled up and put in this trailer. We we got it all. We got it all. I didn't think I was gonna, but I did. <laughs> so that, that'll work for now. Yeah, and it was only like 50 bucks. What was that? Oh, it was under pallets. Yeah, this thing. I thought, yeah, yeah, we can go with that. <laughs> Maybe that's what I should have did instead of buying that trailer. I should have bought just like... No, it wouldn't have... Well, would it? Yeah, because 2, 4, 6, 8, 10... Yeah, yeah, maybe I should have did that salute. Well, I could have, but... It's kind of nice having that big trailer, too. So it, it all worked out. I worked it out. Just just had to think outside the box a little bit. Boy, did that get dirty. Ooh I'm definitely going to need a bath and some maintenance. And um, Last time I bailed that straw, that baler almost picked up two wind rolls at a time barely so what I'm thinking here I just I got a crazy little idea I gotta try just for kicks and giggles I'm gonna pull this out because I'll be making hay in a month anyway I know it's a hay tether but it's also kind of of a rake I was just wondering if that tether will put two of those wind rolls together to make bailing a little easier I just want to see maybe it'll put three together I don't know I just, I'm just curious. Experimental. Let me do a little experiment here. I just, I, I'm just curious. If that'll rake up. Or will it change it to hay? <laughs> it shouldn't. Hello. Drive tractor much? No, not me. <laughs> Uh, 
Alright, just in case I screw things up here. Alright, do a quick little save here, just in case it doesn't do what I want it to. You never know. That's where I like to manually save and not have the game auto save because if something goes wrong. Will this. Oh yeah, it, oh yeah, it gets three of them. Well, almost three. For sure, two. Yeah, we'll go with two. Why not? That'll save a little time and effort bailing. Yeah. Because sometimes it, the bailer doesn't quite get all of it. You know what I mean? It'll miss a little bit. So if we can get two win rolls together, yeah, that'll save a bit of time bailing. Why the heck not? Yeah, that worked out pretty good. Doubling up them rolls, that should make bailing a little easier. Alright, again, I'm going to bail off camera, because that's a noisy, noisy bailer. <laughs> and you've seen me bail before, so you know what I'm doing. Still a good bailer, just a noisy bailer. That definitely made a few bales of straw. Will it be enough for a year, though? It looks like I'm getting a bit low on twine, too. Hmm. Better stock that up before I hit the second crop next month. That looks like a pretty big pallet of twine. I don't think I'll have to worry about purchasing twine for a while. And it's not that much. I think it's only like $250 a pallet. Um, what? Oh, I have to consume it all. Oh, okay. Well, I can, I can certainly do that. <laughs> okay, I'm still figuring out how that works. Let's see. You know what? Let's use the H to pick up the bales. It's a little quicker than the B. And there, it all plowed up. You know, I got to thinking, uh, I think Jeremy said that too, um, that harvester is not all that bad. I think it takes me longer to plow with this little bitty plow. I think the trick is you got to keep your land small and your field small. Otherwise, you're just going to get so overwhelmed. It's doable. You just got to keep it at a decent scale. Like say, you wouldn't want to go much bigger than this. Like this field is only like a quarter of an acre you know you can't you just can't over indulge you got to keep things small and just keep it small I do like using this stuff because it just looks more authentic you know it's it's more what what's real I think we're doing pretty good you know everything is staying real here Let's see, I never did check to see what, what else that field needs. I know there's a few small stones on it, but I don't think i got to worry about them. I can just roll them in later. Let's check some things here. Yes, it is plowed. Oh yeah, we got to get some poop on it. That's pretty important. And yeah, there's no point in rolling it twice. Because, yeah, they're just the yellow stones, so I could just throw the poop on it. And I can just leave it alone until September. It'll be ready for planting. Boy, them summer milk checks sure don't pay much. I'm just barely breaking even. I think I got more than enough straw. And we got some more second crop hay to make here pretty soon. This has been working pretty good. Not bad. Like I say, it's a little bit of a struggle back in that trailer in here. But if you drive up and turn to the right and then back up. And you can unload on the right or the left. Then drive ahead and back it out again. It's not too bad if you take your time and... Kind of a fun challenge, actually. 
Grab the bale. Then we go feed the chickens. Now, I definitely want to empty this first, I think. Now, can I? May I? Um, I suppose I can't get it out of there with the shovel. Hmm, how can I do this? How do I get this out of there? <laughs> There's got to be a way to do this. No refill, no nothing. Alright, it's just a silly little game. Obviously you can take a shovel or a bucket and empty it, but I couldn't figure out a way to do it, so I just super strength carried it over here, and there it sits. <laughs> Maybe it'll automatically fill the chicken coop till it's empty, so we'll go with that. <laughs> Again, it, it, with the game the game's logic, sometimes you just gotta... I'm gonna stick to the rules the best I can, but sometimes you just gotta say, screw it. <laughs> it ain't worth Okay, um, cows are good, chickens are good, although I do got a bow calf I wouldn't mind getting rid of. Um, no, I can't afford nothing right now. I was going to say, get a small animal trailer, but milk prices are bottomed out and cows are kind of dried up, so I guess I make some hay. Make some second crop. Well, what you think? That should get us through the winter, huh? Again, it's a little tricky getting that trailer up in here and, and backing and unloading, but if you fiddle around, it's not too bad. Not too bad. I. Uh, it'd be nice if they put some kind of bale auto load thing up in here. I was... This kind of works. I was I was playing with this experimentally off camera. I do have... It's like $5,000. Or is it? There it is. This. This does... I don't know if I'm going to put it up there or not. It does work. It's a little tricky getting it in there. But if you put this in here just right, it does work. The downside is you can't see the bales until you spawn them, and then if you spawn a whole bunch of bales, sometimes it collides with the roof, so it kind of works. I don't know, I might put it in here later. We'll, we'll see how much of a pain in the butt it is manually stacking them in here. And I can stack more over here if I need to. If there was just a better way to to handle small square bales, you know, instead of flip flip flopping them around one at a time, although in real life that's how it's really done. But so far this is kind of working. It's a little finicky and kind of a pain in the butt getting them up here, but it does work. Matter of fact, when I unloaded one load, it <laughs> I forgot to shut the door. It's a good thing I probably left it open. Otherwise, the bales would be stuck on top of the door. So, but anyway. We got the second crop up in here. Third crop, um, well, if I do got room to... If that trailer would let me unload behind it, I could put another row in here. Maybe that's what I'll have to do, find another small little trailer that lets me unload from behind. So, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> it's it's working, it's working. I'm, I'm having fun with it. Well, I... I had just enough manure, not quite enough, I'm a little short, um, I didn't quite have enough to finish this field, but otherwise everything was fertilized. I guess the only thing I can do now is move ahead in time. Hopefully not out of a couple cows out of calves, we should be getting some better milk checks hopefully here. Well, that's a little better if you look in the upper right-hand corner. Ooh, if I just touch it. There we go. <laughs> okay, that works pretty good. I kind of like having that crate there. <laughs> so, 
So chickens are fit. Chickens are fed. Ooh, we're getting some more eggs too. Well, I better be watching the population on this. Oh no, it's still. I th I don't think I have this on overcrowding. No, I don't. I don't think I have the barn either. So okay, okay. So we got some eggs to take in this morning. How are we doing over here? Oh, we got some bales that didn't. Sometimes you gotta take them out a bit, take them in and out again just to get them to. There we go. All right, let's go up into Hemo and knock some bales down. We. Yeah, okay. I did buy the cheapest animal trailer I could get. Unfortunately, it only holds one. But I only got one to haul. I want to get rid of these bull calves. Let's see, female, female, female. I do want to keep. Oh no, I got two. I got two milk calves. Shoot! Dang it! I wish this trailer held more than more than one. <laughs> you could fit two calves in there. Come on, really? <laughs> I'm just curious. Is there a better option before I commit to this here? I could have swore there was like a two cow trailer, but must not be available until like 1960 or something. All right, I just I I want to see. Yeah, that's the one I bought. But I could have swore there was like a small an, oh, is it that one? No. Maybe it was under animal transport? I didn't have hardly any options. Oh no, I got lots of options. Oh, here we go. There we go. That holds two pieces. But it is not available till 1970. To me, that's not right. That should be available in the 50s. So I think... Like I say I, I'm trying not to bend the rules unless I have to, but there's no reason I shouldn't have a two, a nice small two. Of course, that costs a bit more too. You know what? Well, hmm. I mean, it does waste a little more gas. I'll go with it for now until I get, until I get annoyed with it. <laughs> not too often I'm gonna have to do this you know but yeah it would be nice to haul two calves instead of one all right I guess if I get really annoyed I can sell them directly but then you got to pay a fee it's not that far into town anyway Yeah, got rid of one calf. Yeah, bull calves are kind of useless. I mean, you can raise them up, but I don't want to have to make more hay and straw than I have to, so we're, I'm trying to stick with just females, cut milk cows. I don't feel like raising steers. More work. Maybe later on I'll raise some steers, but... That's how my dad always did it. We never had any bull calves. Always went down the road. And we only kept the females. Time to get the barley in the ground. Hopefully, I got enough seeds left to do it. Now, question is, can I plant directly on this? I really shouldn't though, it just does not feel right. Because technically you really shouldn't plant on plowed. This should be dissed. Problem is I really can't afford... Oh no, hold on, I got $4,000. I can afford a disc. Yeah. That's the reason I didn't get it last time, because I couldn't quite afford it. But I can't afford it now. I, I should do that, it just feels right. Yeah. 
Yeah, I better buy that. Can't be doing things not right around here. Um, second question is though, by disking that, is that going to make the big rocks come up? I hope not. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see, that disc had a three point, didn't it? I'm going to take the tractor and get that, it, don't I? Yes, I do. All right. Let me go get a disc and see what happens here. I probably should have did a game save before I did that. Hehe, <laughs> might be the mistake. I don't know. Let's find out. We'll find out together. I mean, it's plowed. It technically shouldn't bring up any more rock. I think it only does it if you bring rock, rock up. I don't know. Well, we'll find out. Yeah, that's that's what scares me. Hopefully we don't... As long as I don't allow create fields, I don't think rock will come up. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, this is... I mean, this is probably not a necessary step again, but it just does not feel right unless I do this. Because I've done this in real life. You can't plant on a plowed... <laughs> it just doesn't work that way. Uh... bringing up any nasty rocks here. Oops. Well, come on, where am I? Jeez, there we go. It doesn't seem to be so far. I don't see no red. Well, let's see what happens. Well, they're staying yellow. I don't see no red. I think we're going to be all right. Yeah, this just looks so much... Ah, I missed a spot. Dang it. Uh, it looks so much more... Much better. <laughs> it looks like it's supposed to. Got a disc it. Just got to. This is not the better disc. Uh, there's a... I do have an International 37 which is a much better disc but Technic, well to me it should be available but according to whoever made the mod in the game it's not available till 1957 so I'm stuck with this little fart for a little while um, but my plan for this this game series I'm gonna keep it small for a long time you know what I mean don't you know, I'll, I'll stick with my 10 maybe no more than 15 cows for a little while I don't want to do any more land because that's when it gets overwhelming when you got to do when you got too much to do. This is right now the size of this is is manage manageable. You know, I mean it's not so big. You know, where you're going around and around and around and around, it's like taking forever. This is a much better pace so far. I'm liking it anyway. Got to keep it small, so I'm gonna keep it small at least until the 60s. I think. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna. I'm getting better every time I play it. You know, getting a, getting it planned out. All right. It is planted. It is rolled. Everything is. Basically, we did everything we can with it. Fertilized 100%. Yield bonus 98. Uh, the only way to get that yield bonus to 100 is you have to mulch. But in my honest opinion, that little 2% is not worth the gas and wear and tear on a mulcher. Not to mention, I don't even think there's a mulcher available for this time period. So that's why we can't make the full 100%. But, eh, whatever. Anyway, there's one more issue I was set out to solve here. Um, I know I already asked the question earlier. But I did a bit of research on my own here. Arukuru Ukuru is not a dog's name. <laughs> you know what? I don't think I fed him or her today. Um, so I got to write that name down because I'll forget it. Because I need to know so I can find that name in the XML file. I found a, a, a tutorial on YouTube that uh, I basically I just Googled how to change dog's name. In Google and uh, and this is the first thing that popped up so if you look at this channel how to with RJ 
uh, it was the first one that popped up I am just going to follow follow this tutorial and see what happens so I need to save this game and exit out of it and see if we can get this name changed it, it's weird why wouldn't the game give you the option to name your own dog that just seems kinda silly to me <laughs> it's one of those weird things it's like um why can't you name your own dog oh there he is finally yeah oh well whatever either way let's see if I can successfully change it I'll be back oh no I'm conflicted do I change it to Fred or old red <laughs> I'll change it to Fred Fred old red whatever same thing I'll be back all right was we successful we were <laughs> old red Fred <laughs> that is cool I mean it's 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 a little sad that you have to modify an XML file to do it but it is doable and from what I've read in read like reddit forums and stuff you can do the same thing with like horses and stuff if you know where to search in them XL, XML files you know if you know what you're doing and you, you read carefully you can find speaking of find what did you find I heard that is there a mouse mole what's the deal here huh are well, you, you gonna give up that easily huh what do you got here there's a mole or a mouse there. What? Come on, get back over here. What? What's in there? <laughs> All right. So, I think everything is in order here. I think ch chickens are topped off. Cows are good. Yep, yep, yep. We got. Uh, ch 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 I think we got everything fertilized and harvested and all up to date on that. Uh, second or no, the third crop. Third crop is not quite ready yet. So I think that is it. We go forward in time. Hopefully, start making a bit more money. All right. All right. Third crop is done. Should have more than enough hay. Uh, the only thing I might be a little short on, I'm not sure yet, is straw. Might have to expand my straw field a little bit and shrink down my hay fields a little bit. So, we'll see how it goes. Should have plenty anyway. Worst case scenario, I'll just have to buy a little bit of straw. So, yeah. Third crop is in. Poopy spread. That's been working out pretty close. Pretty, you know. I'm sure eventually I'll have too much of that. I'll have to figure out a way to start getting rid of it. Everything's pretty much been washed up and packed away and repaired and ready for next year. So, I guess, oh, we can close this door. Yeah, everything else is all set, I think. Alright, sleepy time. Alright. We're into January. Milk checks are coming back up. I think it's time to put in a proper feeding bin for the chickens. Uh, the one I found it's, it holds pretty decent, 18,000. That should be more than plenty. I can put it uh, somewhere in this general area. I also bought a cheap wheel, uh, another wheelbarrow. Let's try it right there. Ah, I should have hit V. Kind of messed up my ground a little bit there, but that's all right. Okay, we want a low tip right side. That should do it. No, nope, oh, that, that'll work. We got a proper feet chicken feeding thingamajiggy. Yeah, when I went to uh, deliver the eggs, I uh, threw this in the back of the pick 'em up truck. Oh, 
What engine? There's no engine. <laughs> I always find that funny with hand tools. It says you still got to start the engine. Ah, we should be able to go like this. And go like this. Whoa. There we go. Chickens are fed. Just kind of plop this here ready for next time. Alright, how is Weezy doing here? Um, yeah, I was going to say I took the egg. <laughs> it's funny when you take stuff in, it's like you got to wait an hour, wait for the game to catch up to itself. Cows are all fed and happy. Uh, let's see, we should have some... Oh, that's puberty yet. Yeah, it's going to be a couple months before we get some more calves to sell. And it depends if they're bull calves or heifer calves, so we'll see. I don't think I want to get much more than 10, 15 cows because i got 7 cows already. And uh, yeah, it's only January and I they took a bit of hay and a bit of straw. So I don't think I want to get much bigger than that for a little while. Otherwise, I'm really going to have to work hard. <laughs> So, alrighty, now that I got that put in, let's see, I could put the tractor and wagon away and make things look a little neater, a little, a little neater around here. Where's a good place to park this? Get the cover on it too, so it keeps the snow out of it, although I haven't noticed much for any snow on this map yet, which is a little disappointing, but hey, you can't have everything. That's probably good enough for now. Are you gonna un... <laughs> Boy, what a messy, crooked parking job that was. Oh well, it's good enough. I just wanted to get this under a roof. There. Alright, we hit March, and that'll be the end of this episode, I think. Oop, one more yet. One more. The hay is definitely holding out really good. Straw? Eh, yeah, kind of a toss-up yet. I got a little ways to go yet. Uh, that's got to hold out until June. I think June is when harvest time is. Huh, I already took the eggs in this morning. But I got to feed them. Whoops. Hey, but it's... I moved too quickly around here. There we go. <laughs> well, as you can see on the calendar, it is 1952. That means we better end this episode. Whether, I was kind of debating if I should make the barley field a, a tickle bigger. Just to get a hair more, you know, just a little bit more straw. I don't know. I said I wasn't going to do that. I don't think I really got much room to expand that field anyway. Let's see, let's have a look-see. The only thing I, I was toying with doing, I could keep that grass, a grass field, and maybe just plant a little more barley over here, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I got time to think about it next time. I think we did good today. I got the nice little feed bin here for the chickens, and the chickens are doing good. Everything's happy, healthy, doing well. No problems there. The new heifer calves are growing up pretty quick, and we're going to have two more babies here. Or no, more than that. We're going to have like four calves here coming up in a couple months. So, yeah, it's starting to come along. Alrighty, we better end this here. Where is Fred? Now that we got Fred again, we can say goodbye to Fred at the end of every end, the end of every end of every every episode. My stuttering today, my goodness. And where is he hiding at? Hello. <laughs> Here, puppy, puppy. Fred. 
He's off getting his own food. He says, screw you. I don't want that cheap farm and fleet dog food. I want real food. Rabbits and mice. Well, I don't know where Fred is. I was going to say goodbye to Fred, but apparently... Oh, here he comes. My goodness, where the heck was you? <laughs> he was a long ways away. What was you doing? <laughs> uh, Alright. Say goodbye to everybody, Fred. Let's see. we got to have our screenshot here. That looks like a pretty decent screenshot. Oh, hold on. i got to get it just right. Yeah, something like that. There. Alrighty. Until next time. Bye for now.